Howdy folks, welcome back to SnowRunner. We are on the history of Ural. And I just spent the last 15 minutes or so getting this truck and the M134 down here from the garage in the north by coming across the forest, hitting the road up here, driving down, getting to where you see me now. And you're not going to see any of that. Because I started out in the garage area. I was outside the garage, but I was still within the squares on the ground. So it only recorded long enough for me to say, long enough for me to tell you what I intended to do. And then as soon as I pulled away, it killed the recording. So everything, so I lost everything up to that point. So I lost everything up to where you see me sitting now. So, obviously driving through, you don't even have to go in the garage, just drive through that area, past the garage, and it kills the recording. That said, we are working on the thieves job and I'll get into the rest of it as we move along. I just drug this tail first out of the swamp right there. It gets too deep to go around the front so I drug it out ass first um, to a point where I could come around it and get on the front. And now we're going to start heading south. The reason the M134 is there is because there's a watchtower over to the east. What I was explaining in the video that got deleted is that um, there's lots of chops we could do right now but nothing that pays like this one and we really need the money and the points it's 99,999 points and it's 99,999 cash must be the site of a new drill rig. I saw a job in there about a drilling site. I saw jobs about delivering all those um, big high saddle trailers with the armor cars and the, the bomber parts. There's jobs for delivering those over to Dima. There's a crane out there. There's a job for delivering materials to a new construction site. There's all sorts of jobs that we can do right now. But we gotta finish these. I need the truck that has the maintainer from way down in the south. I have to bring it back up to the middle of the map 
to repair trucks that need repair, need fuel, before I can use them. I have trucks down there that I... It's so stupid because I pulled up to those two Azovs and, to get the discovery points. But I didn't check to see if they were broken or not, or if they needed fuel. I go back there to use one, and it's completely broken. The Azov is 50, the 5319 is completely broken. And this is cool. And the, um, the other one is all fixed up, but no, has no, um, fuel. And then I managed to fix up the um, look at that statue. You could say, is that the hand of Lenin or the hand of Stalin reaching out from the grave? Anyways, um, some bunkers and shit I would like to check out, but I gotta go around the corner and up to here. Looks like there is a shortcut I could have taken, but I didn't realize it was there. Oh boy tower in the way. Can I squeeze through here? I saw a job about fixing a tower. Oh, oh look at that. Took a little damage but made it. Look at that gun. Outstanding. We are on our way. Delivering the Chevy doesn't get us anything. Except it's part of the complete job that we need to finish. Well, that's where the shortcut would have come out. And that's a shortcut down to where the grass with the points is. Dang, when I get done recording this, I'm going to have to close up the windows and turn the heat on. Oh boy. That's where the truck is. I saw that on the one observation. Oh shit. I'm gonna run, have to run north along this ridge. Until I can get through the woods around the end of it. Or south around that end. I have to go around one end or the other. Running north is closer to where I need to go. No, can't get through there. 
without that truck there, I could maybe scramble over the top. I wonder if I can change to that. No. The only thing I can change to is the Chevy, and it's broken. Well. Jeez. Is that a... a way through? Right there? There's grass going up that way. I can't zoom in enough to tell. Yeah, although... Fuck that. It looks like... You can squeeze through there. By golly! Miss Molly! Back up, Chevy. See around the corner without spinning way too for god damn camera. Looks like it curves back again. Obviously, kind of a tight deal for this big of a truck. But Kraz will do it. The Kraz can do anything. Except mount a flat uh, except mount the uh, except mount a flatbed to haul parts on. You always have to pull the trailer. Here we go. Here we are. That's where I need to go fix those vehicles, but I don't have any repair points on this. There's the yar that I could go get the radar trailer with. And there's a whole crap ton of various jobs right around where the radar trailer is. It's like they're all clustered in one spot. There must be something over there. I did manage to repair the Voron by using the Ankh to shove it up onto one of those ramps. Okay, well that part of my job is done. So the Chevy is mine now. But it's out of fuel. I don't know how much else is broken. So, yet another reason to bring the truck up here that has fuel.
In order to access that garage, you need concrete from Dima, besides lumber and metal from this side, where the spare parts are, uh, will eventually be delivered, is at a sawmill. So that's how you open up the sawmill, by completing this job. The trailers that I need to haul are all down here, the, along with the Kraz that has the fuel and the points. So I might as well just run this thing down there and then switch trucks and then come back up here and back up here. I need to put one metal on this. I need to pick up one metal and take it over to Dima. And then bring concrete back. And there is a crap ton of concrete over there that we need for different jobs on this side. So I'll have to figure out if I want to take the 8 spot or or what. I don't know how I'd get the 8 spot in here and back out because this end is blocked. So I was thinking about taking just a 2 spot truck and the 2 spot flatbed. I don't know. I don't know if there's a job you can do that opens up that end of it. I think there is actually. I found a job um, I found a job that talked about making repairs to this factory so that it's operational again. Um, I'm going to pull that ER down further south here. So it's at least on this road. I won't have to go back and get it later. Of course, I wanted one of those M134s down in the south here. But then one of them is still sitting up at the garage and the other is over there waiting to explore that watchtower. I suppose the one that's by the garage I could pull down here, but... I was thinking I might need that one elsewhere as well. Oh man.
Oh, that would be that little dinky pass-through again. How did I get down there the first time without going through that? Oh, I went into this. I went down to the bottom road, and then I went across the swamp. That's what I did. Holy bananas, full of rocks! Almost clear of the south end. Whew. That thing really got up on its side. But came back down. Dang, I'm freezing my ass off. I can't get up to close the windows until I... Shut off the video. Well, I suppose I can just put the controller down and go do it quick. Yeah, if I go straight across now... Well, actually, if I go straight across, I hit more forest. If I angle across, I can hit the road. I was going to leave the uh, yard back up the road further, but I ended up not going that way. So I guess I'll leave it down here. It's funny how there's two roads separated by that railroad yard. Oh, that's because of the railroad tracks. That's right. There's a place down here you can cross the tracks. Yepper, yepper. There's a crane. Oh, there's a job for delivering a cabin we can do. But I didn't have a trailer to put it on. You can auto load it, and it's already built. You just need a truck to put it on. Truck or trailer. I'm going to leave the, release the winch right there. And see now this is what I need. This truck for. Pulling these big trailers. You got those two back there with stuff on them. You got this eight spotter right here. And then there's a job for 
that big old tank trailer that doesn't even go that far. It's not even that long of a distance to haul it. But I didn't have a truck down here till now. Stop engine. But I right now the priority is getting I mean I wanna do the watchtowers and all that shit too. I want to get this other garage open, but you see there's a road right to that watchtower, but getting this up north there is a priority. And I'm hoping I can use this road to get to the other side and come back up. This is the Voron that does not have the off-road gearbox. at something. Turn the truck around. Turn the camera. No. You can't climb the pile of rocks and use it to go over the pipe. Shucks. I'm going to have to come up that swamp up through that swamp on the other side. I wonder... Is this a crossover? Can I? Can I? Can I? Oh! oh come on! Come on! Come on! Oh yeah! Fuck yeah! Took a little damage, but... Oh, pumpkins! There's a job about smashing pumpkins. You get paid to drive around there and smash all the pumpkins. I don't know why I took the long way around that fence when I probably could have just busted through it. Look at all these uh, foundations they put down. They never built the houses. Alright, I gotta see. I'm kind of bypassing the road a little bit. And I'm gonna run straight into a swamp. So I should probably cut this way and get on the road. before I start getting in the woods and shit. I'm 
Uh, I don't think I want to climb that hill. I can get to the road right here. Trail, whatever. What passes for a road on this map? Yay! We're on the other side of the pipeline and going north. <clears throat> Now don't let it fall off the side of the embankment and tip over or something. The other boron drove nicer. Huh, that goes to a watchtower. I mean, and it's right frickin' there, too. It'll probably be on top of a big pile of rocks or something, but... Ah, maybe not. Gonna get lucky on this one. Except it wouldn't turn sharp enough. Launch observation. Oh boy. That looks like a bridge we can't cross. Small scalp flatbed. Oh, shit. Another obstruction. There's no bridge there. There is some areas that look like you could drive up the river maybe as a bypass we can go through the woods as a bypass I'm thinking about just heading through the woods put a point there and geez, just keep heading north I don't want to keep dicking around with one obstruction after the other. That keeps us from getting... But this pipeline up here is high enough to drive under. I, I started to say that keeps us from getting this job done. What's this, third, fourth video? I've lost track. And we haven't got thieves done yet. There's the bridge you can't cross. God, it makes me wonder if a person could 
use that other route up the middle of the river. But if you got down there, how would you ever get back out? I wasn't going to come, I wasn't going to swing over to the left, the truck just did it by itself. Big rock. Of course, you know, going this way it's going to be one gigantic boulder after the other. And then the, uh, oh no, 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 the uh, delivery will probably be on the other side of the river when we do get up there. And the route oh, that goes up the middle of the river takes us right to it. Yep. I have to go back all the way to here. Son of a bitch. Because the map was black and I couldn't tell. until I drove all the way up here and pushed the black area back. Ah, oh, fuck me. Turn it around. I was just, as I drove along, I started thinking, you know, that road that goes up the middle of the river isn't there by accident. That road has a purpose. Wish I would have thought of it sooner. Wish I would have thought to go check it out before I was too far past it to go back. Because now I gotta go back anyways. After going up and down over all these boulders for no reason. Still four hundred meters. But it's road now. I 
there's the power plant again. I don't think I want to drop down in there until I get to the bottom at least. There's the scout flatbed. Why would I even care about bringing that along? Oh, uh, maybe I could put one unit of lumber on it or something. Maybe there's a job for it. I'd fuck up Ty if, if I know. It seems silly to leave it laying down there, laying down here. I don't uh, know that I could actually attach it. Yeah, no suitable trailer to attach. I'll just leave it on the hook. I'm looking at a few more minutes and then I can go turn the heat on. <laughs> Earlier it was warmer, so I had the... No, 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 no. Don't do that. Oh, shit. Well, this is where we're fucked. Well, I guess I get to go turn the heat on now, then. Unless... Ooh. Okay, so... Remember that for future use. Stay to the right. Those trees laying there would block your passage, but I have the trees Don Mod running. We are gonna make it.
Come on, baby. That yellow arrow is getting closer. I have no idea where that road goes that cuts off to the left and I don't care right now. <laughs> I'm 46 minutes in, freezing my ass off, and need to be done. I started to say, before I was so rudely interrupted by the truck almost drowning, that earlier it was warmer out. And um, I had the windows open. Boy, trucks galore up here. Huh? There's one of those uh, points. There's like nine or ten of those points all over the map. And you can pick them up whether you have the job turned on or not. Cargo management. Let's unload this puppy. Yes! You have reached rank 30. I will accept that. Holy shit. I can buy all that stuff that that, that... that said I needed to reach rank 6 for this or rank 12 for that. Rank 30. And now... I say adieu or au revoir, whatever. Um, Alvita say. I'm going to take care of dinner and heat and bathroom and just lay across the bed for the rest of the night watching TV. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.